Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customer can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Prashant Kulkarni, and I am a customer engineer at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I do reporting and access reviews on GCP? Google Cloud has something we call Cloud Asset Inventory API. Asset Inventory API allows you to search asset metadata by using a custom query language, export all asset metadata at a certain timestamp, or export event change history during a specific time frame. It also allows you to monitor asset changes by subscribing to real-time notifications. Now, before we dive into this, there are some terms that we should get familiar with. Assets. An asset refers to Google Cloud resource or policy. Cloud Asset Inventory supports two main asset content types, resources, resource metadata of a Google Cloud asset. Examples include compute engine, virtual machines, cloud storage buckets, app engine instances, and so on, and policies. Policies are metadata of one of the following policies set on Google Cloud resource. Example include cloud IAM policy, organization policy, access context manager policy. Now, to be able to get the extract of the policy, you could run gcloud asset command. Uh, gcloud asset search all IAM policies will give you what you need. Now, wouldn't it be cool to be able to export this data? Google Cloud provides two ways to expose this data. One is export the data to Google Cloud Storage or export the data to BigQuery. We are going to look at BigQuery export. So for example, this is my Asset Inventory API project. Here, I have created a project for BigQuery called Asset Inventory API. Within that, I have a data set called IAM Asset Inventory. And within IAM Asset Inventory data set, I have a IAM Policy Inventory table. Now, to be able to do that, you will actually run a command called gcloud asset export. In this command, you will provide an organization ID, which is your unique ID given to your Google Cloud organization, a BigQuery table. This is the full resource for BigQuery table. Output BigQuery force, and then content type equal to IAM policy. This is the most important flag. This tells the Cloud Asset Inventory API to export IAM policies for your organization. This command runs in asynchronous mode. And it will pro when you run it, it will provide you a job ID. You can actually monitor the status of the job ID by using this command. gcloud asset operations describe. Now, this will actually provide you a flag called done. When the flag value is set to true, that means your export is completed. Now let's look at the table that is formulated by this export. This job basically finished. Um, I had it um, exported a while back. The results um, are here. So for example, if I run a command to get a high level overview of all my asset and asset types, I will run this. For example, here, the output will show you one snapshot of all the asset types within your cloud organization and how many of those types exist to provide you a one level view of everything that you need to worry about. Now, if I need to find out who has access to what, I will run a second SQL command and let me show you that. This command basically shows you all the user accounts that have access to your different assets within Google Cloud. And here we go. All the members that have access to given asset types are included. And you could actually look at the, the projects, within the projects what particular asset type this user has access to. Now, if you wanna take access access report of service accounts. You could actually do that as well. So I will modify this command to include service account. So when I run this, 
this will show us all the service account that has access to your project. Basically two things, a service account that exists within your, within your project and all the service accounts that, that are exist within your organization. Now wouldn't it be cool if we also get access to access information like which group has access to your environment? Let's just modify this command to get that report. Here is the output of all the groups that have access to your different data sets within different projects. You can export this information in a CSV format. You can, ex you can actually use a data visualization product that you like to make sense of this data. Or you can export this within your identity governance product to be able to perform access reviews. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud Experts. Mm -hmm.